Chapter 5 Hi, Zeus. This is the very first day of the games, Plato told Jack. The day of the chariot races. Oh, wow, whispered Jack. He couldn't believe he was going to see a chariot race. The modern Olympic Games didn't have chariot races. They walked toward the racetrack. Plato pointed to a large building near the road. That is the gymnasium, he said. It is where our athletes train. They practice running and throwing the javelin and discus. We have a gymnasium at our school in Frog Creek, said Jack. We call it a gym. People all over the world copy us Greeks, Plato said. Wait, said Jack. I have to take notes for Annie. He pulled out his notebook and wrote, Ancient Greeks invented gyms. Okay, we can go, said Jack. He tucked his notebook under his arm. As they moved along, Plato pointed to a beautiful tree nearby. The olive tree is our sacred tree, he said. The winners of the games will wear crowns made from its branches. Oh, wow, said Jack, and he wrote, Olive tree is sacred. Next, they passed a beautiful statue of a winged lady. Who's that, said Jack. She's Nike, the goddess of victory, said Plato. Jack quickly wrote, Nike is goddess of victory. Nike is important to the games, said Plato, but the most important Olympic god is in there. He took Jack to a brick building with huge columns. They stepped through the door. It was a temple. Jack gasped. In front of them loomed the biggest statue he had ever seen. The statue was at least two stories high. It was a bearded man sitting on a throne. This is the temple of Zeus, and that is the statue of Zeus himself, said Plato. The Olympic Games are played in his honor. He is the chief god of the Greek gods and goddesses. Oh, man, whispered Jack. Yesterday all the athletes came here, said Plato. They swore to Zeus that they had trained for ten months, and they promised to obey the rules of the Games. The statue of the mighty Greek god stared down at Jack. Jack felt very small. Hi, Zeus, he said. His voice was small, too. Suddenly, trumpet sounds came from outside. The hour has come, said Plato. We must hurry. The Olympic parade begins. Magic Treehouse Book 16 Hour of the Olympics Chapter 5 Tuck under one's arm. He tucked his notebook under his arm. In front of. In front of them loomed the biggest statue he had ever seen. Two stories high. The statue was at least two stories high. Come from. Suddenly, trumpet sounds came from outside. Practice makes perfect.